All right, welcome back, guys, to uh, week three of my predictions. First, we're going to go over week two. Recap, just to recap that off. All right, so last week, you could say it was the week of upsets for anybody that, that watched uh, Smite Esports. Everybody thought it was going to be like one-sided matches. Completely different. So starting with a Trig versus upcoming stars, everybody was like, yeah, Trigs, you know, they're one of the top EU teams. It's going to be 2-0, no problem. Uh, but obviously you can see here, Trig won the first game and then lost the second game. Next, uh, the next upset was either, okay, well, I guess you won't really say upset, but some people was like, you know, 2-0 is on the side of London, 2-0 on the side of Epsilon. It ended up being uh, half and half, which I'm not too upset about that. I mean, both really strong teams, uh, but I'm totally cool with that 1-1. The same thing with Eager. Um, I, I'm pretty sure most people had 2-0 Eager, since Eager has a lot of fans. They're, like, po you know, very popular and things like that. But that went off 1-1. Um, Eager, so strong game one. Uh, game two, a little bit different. Uh, game two was actually a really nice match to watch, uh, just because it's so back and forth. Uh, and it's just really super tense game, the game two. Uh, the rest was all fine. AFK Gaming versus London, everybody's like, you know, 2-0, AFK no problem, which that probably should have been the case, but um, AFK Gaming on game one, they didn't have allied their hunter, and from that point on, it just got kind of weird, just weird picks, things like that. Uh, they had a sub, obviously, and things just went south. Uh, fairly quickly for game one, and the game two allied their hunter came back, and they're able to win no problem with that one. So you could say it was pretty upset week uh, throws. I wouldn't really say throws. M maybe, maybe on a couple of them. But so for week three, Fnatic versus upcoming stars, we got the top EU team versus the bottom EU team. So that should be Fnatic no problem. Uh, if this is another throw week, I would be upset. FK Gaming versus uh, Enemy Esports, the same thing as Fnatic. You have, or this time, it's the top NA team, one of the top NA teams, rather, uh, versus the uh, bottom NA team, Enemy Esports. So this should be really one-sided going for the way of Fnatic and AFK Gaming, no problem. Saturday is going to be really interesting. Uh, a lot of good matches here. Uh, team Dig versus London Conspiracy can go, honestly, either way. Either way. It can go either way. Uh, I probably will change it. Um, I, let's put it London. Just for a sun touch, let's just put it for London. I'm going to put it on for London on those two. But honestly, like I said, either way, I can go either way for that one. The same thing with Denial versus Cognitive Gaming. You can go either way. I'm just going to leave it on Cog Gaming. T7 versus Eager. All right, so we have the underdogs, Eager, uh, really popular team, a lot of fans, everything like that. I even want Eager to win, but it, it's this is like a betting scenario. I'm going to kind of give it to TSM, though I would not be surprised at all. In fact, I might even expect this to, for it to go 1-1. One, one. I would love to see Eager win one, and I'm fine with TSM winning one, uh, but I'm just going to give it to TSM on that one. Um, even though, like, I would not be upset if Eager won both of them. I'd be, I'd be so happy. Sunday, Trig versus Epsilon. Um, this is another really good match. Uh, two very strong teams. Epsilon coming out of Challengers. Uh, super strong, winning all the matches in Challengers. Now in the SPL. Uh, looking to make a name for themselves. They could win. This could be another split. 1-1, one, one, no problem. Uh, but I'm just going to leave the Trig. Uh, uh, I might change this one, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into, into that later, but yeah, it can go either way. Titan versus the Night's Watch. It's another situation of one of the top teams in EU versus uh, the bottom. So I uh, would expect Titan to win that one. And then finally we have C9, G2A versus Legion of the Carrots. Pretty much the same boat as Titan. You have one of the top teams uh, for NA, and then you have the bottom for NA on the, this match set here. So C9 should win that one, no problem at all. That's pretty much my predictions and the recap of week two. So let me know who you think is gonna win in week three, or you know if you want to talk about the week two and week one, that's fine too. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.